Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series. Today's episode is extremely important uh, from your understanding point of view that what ExpressJS can actually do, what makes it so powerful and that is because it can be used as a middleware, right? So today we will understand what is a middleware, how it works and how you can utilize it in your applications to make it powerful, stable and much more uh, agile. This is part 12 of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. Uh, so far I have covered these many tutorials. If you have not um, checked out any of the previous episodes, I request you to do so, so you have continuity in your learning. Also, uh, in the coming episodes I am adding more tutorials using uh, Express Generator as well as with MongoDB operations and much much more. So stay tuned to the channel. Alright, now let's talk a little bit about middleware. That's the focus topic of today. So what are middleware functions, right? So what middleware functions are nothing but which have access to the request object, right? And the response response object and the next middleware function, that's the basically method which is used to modify the request and response objects for tasks like parsing request bodies, adding response headers, etc. Right? So this is more of a theoretical kind of an explanation, but uh, when you go to interviews, when you go and talk to someone, uh, maybe from your working example, right, in your live project, uh, when someone asks you what is a middleware, how ExpressJS is used as a middleware, why should we use it, right? So let me give you a couple of uh, practical use cases so that way your understanding is clear by some documentation, right? So let me make some notes for you here. All right, so what happens is, uh, let's say from UI, you're making a request, right? You're sending some data, right? Now it comes to backend and it will hit our API, right? So the moment it hits the API, it calls a handler. That's what we have learned so far, right? But what we are suggesting is, no, before this, we will put one more layer, right? Now this is nothing but this is called as middleware, right? Now what is the use of this middleware? So when you when the UI make a request to our API, it will first come to the middleware, right? And then it will go to handler. So this is important for various reasons. One, you need to do security check of users token or access or authorization etc etc you also need to do body parsing of the request object that whether it has the correct request data everything or not it can also be used for sanitizing right sanitizing your data right so that is one couple of checks then you also need to make sure that correct data is being logged right this is the most common use case, right? Common use case that is logging, right? Logging mechanism. Whenever a re request comes to you, you need to log which user made it, which device made it, what region it was made, and what was the data that was requested. That help. This helps in debugging, right? So there can be multiple uses. Like these cannot be done in each handler, right? If you have to do it, you have to do it in each handler. Instead we do all of this in the middleware, right? That's where ExpressJS is used as a powerful medium to do middleware, right? That means before it goes to handler method, which is to router.get to any of these methods, it will first come process the middleware functions. Now middleware is nothing but it's just a set of functions, okay? Don't get confused or don't think it's too much. Um, it's just uh, methods, right? It's just methods or functions right which gets called now remember that ordering of the methods is the most crucial thing okay because if you get this wrong your flow will be wrong right so remember that ordering of the methods is extremely crucial that's why I've written it here in red color that the ordering is extremely important now let's see it in practical how to do that right Okay, so what we are going to do, we have this user. So if you're following along the series, we have created a users module and we have the file here. Now we will start with the first basic um, thing, which is logging, right? That's what I told you the most common use case. So let's start with that. So what we do is we are telling the router that router.use 
slash whenever there is whenever you get this request to slash that means whenever user whenever an API hits any URL which has slash users right that means that is where you should call this function right and here it will again take two not two but three this time three because this is where we are telling it as a middleware right so see now we are adding a new one which says next right so let me show you that uh, API call received okay and then we'll say so this is this is how um, we can start making our calls and there is one syntax error let me quickly check on that okay so this it says app crashed waiting for file changes before starting okay so we have a function which is closing here and we have router dot use all right why did it crash let's check the reason router dot user okay so we said router dot user it's router dot use okay so spelling mistake make sure that you don't do that all right so it's compiled now that's perfect um, you don't have to do this it's a math function so you can just write like this okay so now note this important thing this is there is a next right this is the handler which means whenever our API will receive a hit or whenever our API endpoint is called this method will be called first right and what it will do it will log API call received then go to next and what is next in this case will be slash that is the next one right let me show you that in action let's go here now let's say slash users right and I'll send so get users for request for users and here you see API call received right so which means first it came it logged the console message then it went here right let me show you that again I hit enter call received and then data went right now we can also chain them for example I want to use I want to send a message after this has executed right so then we will again chain this and say next and see the order is very very important guys so when I say next it will come here right call ended and here there won't be any next because we are ending it here right simple so this is how we can interject methods to process them right so I can I'll show you some complex examples also so now see API call received data sent call ended right so that is how we do tracking and logging so this is for logging purpose the more complex use case would be like you will take and say request dot header right so you can set headers here right so or you can take the status or you can use them you can process them so basically you can add headers to this right so see these are the headers that you want to set right so I can set that say that content type right content type equal to right application slash JSON right so now I have set request dot headers right so here I will say in the next year I'm saying headers received received plus now see dot content type right so let's see this now so in the middleware right in the middleware in, in the interjecting method we are just setting the headers and in the response of the slash get call we are printing it out let's see how it works okay uh, so it gave an error let's see what it is 
cannot set headers after they are sent of course they cannot be sent because they have to be set before we send any request okay okay all right so see headers received application slash json but we did not send any here but we set them in our middleware method right here we had set that and here we are processing it so this is the beauty of express.js that we can use it as a middleware because we can interject anything we can process the data we can massage it we can secure it we can do validation we can do authorization we can do a lot more things even before it hits our database even before it enters into our fort right so this is extremely critical extremely useful tool so that you can optimize your code and say check whether user is logged in check if user is authenticated right if first you check if a user is authenticated if he is not you don't even allow him here right check if data is correct check if all data is present check if is active etc etc so this helps you reduce the burden on your server right because you don't even get to this method if these are not satisfied right so these are extremely powerful concepts called middleware give it a try try it out let me know if you have any doubts in the next um, tutorial i will cover about starting with express generator how to use express generator thank you so much for joining uh, drop me if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer them the next episode i'll cover express generator thank you so much